Ellis, congratulations on your new contract with Everton. What does it mean to sign this new deal with the club? Uh, it means a lot. Um, I've been at Everton for a while now, so I'm just grateful to sign a new deal and hopefully I can kick on from now. Why were you so keen to commit your future to Everton? Um, over the years, Everton, uh, they've just been going upwards. Um, they're a massive club um, and I love it here, so I'm delighted to sign. You've been at the club since the age of 16. How would you describe the support you've received from the club in that time? The support's been great um, ever since under 16s to now. Um, the support has been fantastic um, to help me grow as a person and a player. So um, hopefully I can carry on to do that. You enjoyed a, a very successful loan spell at Blackpool last season. What were the main positives you took from that time? Um, it was my first loan at Blackpool, so it was obviously an introduction to men's football. So I learned a lot in a short space of time, um, coming up against different styles of play. So it was just a learning curve for me and it's overall helped me become a better player. And you've had some difficult spells with injuries this year. How are you feeling now? I feel great. Um, obviously, it's never nice to be injured, um, especially with quite a long-term injury. Um, but now I feel great and I'm ready to kick on and show the manager what I can do. How have you dealt with that spell I injured mentally, Ellis? And, and what are the main things you've still been able to, to learn in your game during that time out of the that time on the sidelines? Yeah. Um, Obviously, I spend a lot of time in the gym so I can work on other aspects such as strength. Um, and when I've been out on the pitch doing individual work, I can work on different aspects of my game. So even though I'm not training with a team, I can still improve my areas that I need to work on. Rafa Benitez has spoken very highly about you, about your attitude, about your, your goal scoring instinct. Um, how have you found working with him so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I get along with him well. Um, he's a very warm manager and you can speak to him about anything. Um, so I'm just grateful to work with him and hopefully I can continue to build that relationship and show him what I can do. What has he told you about what you'll need to do to, to really stake a claim for a first team place? Um, just to work hard, I mean, I've come back from injury, so now it's time to kick on. And I'm sure if I keep training well, working hard, then I'll get an opportunity. Our current number nine here, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, he's um, been through that process. He was with the under-23s, he made the progression up to the first team, and now he's one of the, the leading strikers in the Premier League. Can you take some inspiration from that? Yeah, definitely. Um, he's a good figure to look up to um, because he's been in my position um, and made the step up so I don't see why I can't do that if I carry on working hard hopefully that that will happen. You'll have trained alongside Dom quite a lot have you been able to learn from him and is he quite open to giving you little bits of advice? Yeah um, he gives me tips now and again um, obviously he's played in the Premier League um, so every little detail he can fill me in on that and just help me um, and I can use it in my game as well. And just looking ahead to the rest of the season, what are your aims for the rest of this campaign? Um, the, my aims for the rest of this campaign is just to kick on, um, carry on working hard, staying fit um, and yeah, just working hard in training and hopefully I can keep improving and see where it takes me. Do you really have that belief that you can step up to senior level? Yeah, definitely. Um, I had a, a taste of it at Blackpool. Um, playing men's football so now I'm eager, I'm ready to kick on and play at the highest level that I can do. And just finally you've scored at every level you've played at for the club. What would it mean for you to score in front of a packed Goodison Park in front of in front of 40,000 Evertonians? It'll mean a lot. Um, I've played at Goodison without fans there um, but with the crowd I'm sure it will just be a moment that I'll never forget because um, the support's unreal. So I'm just waiting for that day.